What's up guys, hope you're all having a great day. We're doing another tutorial video. This time we will be covering, you guessed it, text in world. So yeah, here's what we're gonna be doing. Here's our preview and let's show you how to do it. All right, so it's pretty simple. This won't take very long. We have three empty game objects, although you really only need one, but we'll be doing it three. This way we can do, you know, kind of move this around and center it easily. So let's make another one. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Let's call this our canvas. Come. It's been difficult. want it in any object. Alright, whatever, it's just gonna stay there. Create two empties under that. We're gonna call this one pain. This one text area. Okay. So we're gonna want transform rectangle. Like so. We're gonna need a canvas. Canvas render. Canvas scaler and a graphics raycaster. So we'll change this to 10. Actually, we'll leave that for now. I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it done. We're gonna add an image to this. The text area is going to contain text. Okay, as you can see, the object we just made is massive, so let's uh, resize that a bit. position it where we want. Okay, good enough. Let's go to our pane and select a new color. Seuss black and change the alpha down a little bit so it's a little bit more transparent. Okay, let's go to the text area and add some text. Okay, we can see how this is a little fuzzy, so we're gonna go back to the canvas and change the pixels per unit to 10. And we can now see it is the complete wrong way. So let's go to our rotate tool. Okay, well we can see this is viewable from anywhere in the editor here. Let's see how it looks in game. Because we don't want it to be see-through, or see-throughable through other objects in game. Okay, here we are. Probably want to make that a little bigger for the text there, resize it, but let's see if it works or if it works properly. All right, we cannot see it through other objects, which is what we were hoping for there. So other than that, let's take in one more look at how this was done. So 
So here we can see we have our pane within a pane. And that is our text area. So it's very easy to move that around and recenter it how you'd like. So that is as simple as that. If you guys learned something and enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you had any issues getting this to work, let me know what's going on in the comments. And I'll see if I can help you out. Have a great day and see you guys next time.